Welcome back, World Cup fans, for the final time. For it is time for the World Cup final. England versus Italy in Saint-Denis, Paris, France. Alan Shearer will almost certainly leave the tournament with gold in some form, in the form of the Golden Boot. Del Piero and Roberto Baggio are on five goals apiece. As we know, England bypassed Japan, Yugoslavia and the champions Brazil to reach the final. Italy came close to being shocked by Norway, comfortably saw off Spain and thrashed Argentina, of whom eventually finished third. The World Cup opened with the champions Brazil seeing off British opposition here in the Stade France. Now we close with British opposition who saw off the champions just one game beforehand. This could have been the World Cup final of 1990. Both Italy and England competed in the third place playoff. Italy of course finishing third. Roberto Baggio scored in that game, went on to carry his country to the final four years ago of which we would love to avenge here tonight. World Cup final 1998, England versus Italy is underway. Lobbed in from Les so Beckham, it's off the crossbar. Not that it means much, offside. England catching the Italians on the break. They're trying to race back and Shearer has the first direct attempt of the World Cup final. Good save from Pachinuka, who is competing in his second World Cup final in a row. Paul Inns doesn't quite hit the volley. Worlds apart from the thunderous goal he scored on match day one. 18-year-old Mike Lowe in world at his feet in the World Cup final. Links up with Shearer, he goes down. No penalty, says the referee. Albertini gets himself a yard on Graham Lasso. It's into Di Baggio. It's a violent volley. David Seaman, world-class save, preventing what could have been a world-class World Cup final goal. Di Baggio has picked up Roberto Baggio. And he has found the little gap that Del Piero has snuck himself into. David Seaman once again on his toes. It's really gaining more control as the first half goes on. Di Baggio tries to pick up Roberto Baggio, who is just a foot too short. Del Piero swings one in. Campbell intercepts from Roberto Baggio. Now Di Baggio wastes the encore from the Italian attack. Qatar by Adams and Scholes, miscontrols, and Roberto Baggio is one on one. He stalled a little too long. What an opportunity to take the lead before half time. Is Roberto Baggio's confidence affecting him? Is he putting too much pressure on himself to redeem the ghosts of 94? The Azuri have the edge in the first half of the World Cup final. It's England nil, Italy nil. Done it again. Great reflexes on the follow-up save. And Zidane's free kick is bludgeoned away. And here comes the Saudi captain, Al Jaber. He lunges past Laurent Blanc. Desai trying to keep up. And Al Jaber! Oh my god! Forget about Diego Maradona in 86. That may go down as one of the most audacious solo goals in the history of the World Cup. Al Jaber picks it up from outside of his own box, sprints in the near straight line across the field and loops it over the shiny skull of Fabian Bartes. And we are back for the second half of the FIFA World Cup final, 1998. David Beckham striking the iconic pose, almost scoring an iconic goal in his first World Cup final. Del Piero is just offside. Only by about 30 centimetres. Alessandro Del Piero to take Italy's free kick. It gets through, it's on target, but nothing concerning for Seaman. Clever first time lob from Shearer to Owen. Must have felt like he had no time and no choice but to take the strike early. And Shearer seems to fancy himself more as a winger tonight than an all out striker. Owen doesn't get the cleanest connection on the header. Albertini, 
Now here's Chiesa. Across the face and goal! And Del Piero just doesn't hit it hard enough or far away enough from David Seaman. That's Ferdinand. Brought down by Maldini. Well, they're going on. It's Del Piero nearly squeezing in the World Cup final match winner. Great stretch from Seaman. Well, we've only had one other goalless draw in this World Cup and that was between Japan and Croatia. England and Italy will have 30 minutes to win the World Cup before it's decided on the lottery of the penalty shootout. Beckham, Wells went in and look who it is at the far post, Gary Neville of all players. Gareth Southgate safely keeping his distance from Del Piero. Roberto Di Matteo can't do much with a cross like that. Yeah, but it's Christian Vieri. Returns from injury. He nearly earned another one from Sol Campbell. Christian Vieri taking the run up. Pelts it. With reckless abandon to the belief of the English supporters. Beckham. Let's go. Returns it back to David Beckham. He takes a hit. And Patrick retains control. Beckham is Fantelli showing him. He's offside. That disciplined Italian defence all in sync. They knew what was coming. Di Baggio. He's in a race against Neville. Cross not completely dealt with. And England can't catch a break. And it's Roberto Di Matteo at the near post. And again from Seaman Vieri has an open goal. England survive thanks to a triplet of tenacious saves from Seaman. And that may haunt Vieri. England's World Cup hopes literally dangling on the edge of the Eiffel Tower. It's a big drop and it would have been a near impossible climb up that tower if it wasn't for Seaman. Shearer has enough breathing space from Pesotto to roll a shot along the surface of the turf. Gary Neville treating the Italians to his techers. Here is Teddy Sheringham taking it as far in the corner as he can. Keeps the game alive. Finds Les Ferdinand unmarked, and the header nearly leaps in. That could have been England's winning goal. Now they're in trouble, Del Piero has found himself through, gets him out, Seaman, and he's wiped out by Tony Adams. Italy can win this with the last kick of the game. Vieri's missed! What a story. Christian Vieri has missed two guilt edge opportunities to win the World Cup for Italy. England's highest goal scorer, Alan Shearer, to take the first penalty for England and he scores as you would expect him to. Del Piero has been a diamond for Italy. Carries on shining, he scores his penalty. 1-1. Teddy Sheringham hasn't scored for England in this tournament. And he still can't. England missed their first penalty and the morale is dropping already. What has Christian Vieri learned from his first penalty miss? Barely squeezes it in off the post. Here is Les Ferdinand, he could have won the game with his dipping header, it's saved! Two England penalties saved in the way by Pajaluka. Enrico Chiesa to make it three goals to one on the penalty shootout. And if Graham Lasso misses this, it's all over. Sends Pajaluka the wrong way, he keeps England alive for now, it's down to David Seaman and Dimitri Albertini. To win the World Cup, Albertini must score. The FIFA World Cup isn't coming home, it's going to Rome. For normality is restored, England suffer from the suffocating curse of the penalty shootout once again in the World Cup. A premonition of the Euro 2020 final that would come 24 years after this. England being one of the highest scoring teams in this tournament drew nothing but blanks in the final. The second generation Paolo Maldini will lift the trophy as his father and manager Cesar watches on. It's only the beginning of the golden generation of Italy as they are the world champions of 1998. And didn't they have to work for it? Coming back from the dead against Cameroon and Norway. Controlling Spain in the quarterfinals before destroying Argentina in the semis. 
They will endure heartbreak in Holland and controversy in South Korea before the golden generation's eventual glory in Germany.
So, of course, Alan Shearer will walk away with the golden boots. England won't go home empty-handed. The FIFA World Cup Player Awards are as follows. The golden ball you voted goes to Ronaldo, the best player of the tournament. The golden glove for the best goalkeeper. Gianluca Pagliuca was seminal in guiding Italy to the World Cup victory. And finally, the best young player, a clear runaway in the voting, 18-year-old Michael Owen, Liverpool's Magic Midget. For the final time, thank you for joining us on this World Cup pilgrimage over the summer. You chose to relive France 98. Let me know below what tournament you would love to see recreated next. Wherever you are in the world, stay safe and thank you for watching.